Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Wreck-It Ralph. Let's get started at the top of our page with the nose. So I'm going to draw an oval, starting from the top and the center. Curve out towards the left. Bring it around to the right and then back up towards the top. Now I'm going to tuck two circles in behind the top of the nose for the eyes. So let's start on the left side of center. Draw in that circle. Pull that in towards the side of the nose. We'll do the same thing on the right. Stepping over towards the right, we're going to go to the same height and bring it in towards the side of the nose. Now along the top of the nose, we're going to draw two smaller circles for the pupil. So right up against the nose, draw one circle. Move over to the right side and do the same thing. Now on the top left of each pupil, I'm going to add a small circle for a highlight. And we're going to fill the pupils in black. Now we're going to move up to the top and draw on the eyebrows. So we're going to start on the outside of the left eye. We're going to step up. We'll curve down and towards the eye and towards the middle. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Now from the inside of the eyes, we're going to draw two short lines going up. Now we're going to taper out towards the outside of the eyebrow. Starting from the outside here, we're going to curve up and then pull that in. I just want to add a little bit of a cheekbone at the bottom edge of the eye. So right up against the nose, we're going to curve up and then out toward the left and up and out towards the right. Now we're going to move down and draw in the mouth. So we're going to start on the left side, curve down in the middle underneath the nose and go back up on the right. On the ends of the mouth, I want to draw a little bracket. So stepping out, we're just going to curve over the edge of the mouth on both sides. Now that we've drawn in the face, let's draw on the outside of the head. So in the center, we're going to step all the way up to the top in the center and draw a point. From this point, I want to curve up and then just come alongside the eye and then right down towards the cheek. So go up, come around the eyebrow and eye. And now right at the end, I'm just going to curve it out towards the left. Go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Going up, coming down alongside the eye, not at the bottom here, we're just going to curve it out. Now I'm going to connect these two points with the lower part of the jaw, curving out and then down towards the chin. So starting on the left side, we're going to go out, now we're going to pull that in towards the chin at the bottom, now I'm going to work my way back up towards the right. Now at the top of the cheek, we want to add in the ears. So we're going to step out, curve up, round out the ear, and then pull that right in towards the side of the head. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Stepping down, curve out, and pull that in towards the side of the head. We're going to add some inner ear detail. So from this point, we're going to step down, curve up and out towards the left, and then towards the right. Now let's move to the top and draw on the hair. So I'm going to start in the center here, and curve up and out towards the right. Now I'm going to taper this back over, going out, and then just pulling that down to right about there. We're going to layer some more hair in behind. So about halfway along this curve, I'm going to go up and out towards the right again. Now we're going to curve this over, going out and then down. Let's add another one on the right side. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction. So we're going to step down, we're going to curve this up, and now we're going to taper this back down and in. Now we're going to layer the side of the hair in behind. So from this point, I'm going to step up, I'm going to curve out and down, and at the end, we're just going to curl it back up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting up at the top here, we're going to curve down, and at the end, we're just going to flare it up. Now again, we're going to taper this back in towards the head, coming down, and then in on the left. Same thing on the right. Let's stack another curl on the side here. So about halfway along this curve, we're going to come down and out towards the left, on the right, now we're going to curve back down and in. So tapering this line inwards. Now let's add one more just above the ears. Stepping up, curve down, and then back up. Now we're going to do a little bit of an overlap on the hair on the side. So from here, I'm just going to curve down, aiming towards the ear. We're going to leave a little bit of space. We're going to step back out, curve down, and then in behind the ear. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curve down, and then in. Step back up curve down and behind the ear. 
Okay, so now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna have him flexing his arms up. So we're gonna start on the left side of the jaw, curve up, and then down. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. So let's line this up, curve up, and then down. From this point, I'm gonna step in, and draw a short straight line going up for the forearm. We do the same thing on the right, stepping back, just gonna draw a short line going up. Now back on the left side, I wanna curl the thumb around. So from here, I'm gonna step in, curve over the forearm, then curl out. Now I'm just gonna hook this back in. Now from this point, I just wanna hook down the palm, coming in and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So stepping in, curve over that line, come around to the tip of the thumb. Now we're gonna curl this back in. From here, I'm just gonna hook back down the palm. Now let's layer the fingers in behind the thumb. So directly above this thumb, we start on the inside, we're gonna draw a half oval, going up and then down. Let's stack one more finger behind here, stepping over, go up, down. Now we're gonna curl this in behind the thumb, and then one final time, on the side of this finger, we're gonna go up, down, and then in behind. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So above this thumb, we're gonna draw that half oval, Stepping up, we're gonna draw another oval, and we're gonna tuck this in behind the thumb. And we'll do that one more time. At the top, come around, and then underneath. Now from the outside of the finger, I wanna curl the side of the hand in towards the wrist, going out, and then just pulling that in. I'm sort of aiming towards this side. We'll do the same thing on the right, curving around, and then pulling that in. Now let's draw on the outside of the arm. So from this point in the wrist, we're gonna step out, we come down, now we're gonna curve this in towards the elbow. Do the same thing on the right, stepping out, come down, now we're just gonna turn in towards the elbow to the same height. Now from the elbow, we're gonna do a hard turn coming in towards the body, coming down and then in. Do the same thing on the right, coming down and then in. I wanna add a torn edge of the sleeve. So I'm gonna start on the left side, just at the top of the bicep. We're just gonna draw a wiggly line going around all the way down to the bottom. Do the same thing on the right. Starting at the top, we're just gonna wiggle this line down towards the bottom. Now from the inside of the arm, I wanna curve in and then down towards the bottom of the pant. So starting on the left side, we're gonna curve in and we'll start to pull it straight down. Do the same thing on the right. Coming in, now we're gonna curve down to the same height. Now let's move back up and draw on the collar. So in the center, underneath the chin, we're gonna step down, draw a point. From this point, I'm gonna curve up and out towards the left. From the center, we'll go up and out towards the right. Now below this point, we're gonna add two circles for the button. So we're gonna leave a little space, draw one circle, step down, and draw on a second circle. Now below the last circle here, we're gonna draw a straight line going across. Now we're gonna come up on the sides with a straight line towards the top button. And then from here, we're gonna curve out underneath the head on both sides. Let's add one more button on the left side here. So another circle. On the left side, underneath the head, we're gonna draw one strap coming down. So we're gonna draw two lines, starting from the outside. Draw one straight line coming down to about here. Step in, draw that same length line. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a line going across. And then we're gonna add a button, a circle. Let's add the buckle around the end of the strap. So from this corner, we're gonna step up, go out with a short line, do the same thing on the inside. We'll come down with a straight line on either side and then close it off with a straight line along the bottom. On the left side of this buckle, I'm just gonna curve down and out towards the left. We'll go to the right side. Now I'm gonna curve this down a little bit further, coming down and then going across towards the right side. I wanna show the flap of the overall coming down. So we're gonna start at the very top again. We're gonna taper this coming down towards the bottom. Now I'm gonna curve up in the opposite direction towards the top on the right. Let's continue working down with the legs. So in the center, right down here, underneath the flap, I'm gonna draw a curve from left to right, going up in the middle, and then back down. Now on the left side of center, I'm gonna curve out and then down towards the heel. And do the same thing on the right side. From the outside of the pant, we're gonna draw a wavy line going back in towards the inside. So let's start up here, we go up 
and down, almost like a curved zigzag, going all the way across. And do the same thing on the right. Start by going up, down, and then just wave it towards the inside of the leg. Let's go back to the left side and draw on this foot. So from this heel, I want to curve down and then up towards the first toe. Now the first toe almost looks like a C shape. We start up here, we're going to curl around and then back over. We're going to draw two more toes along the side. Start at the bottom here, curl around and tuck that in behind the first toe. We'll do that one more time. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting from the heel, we'll curve down and then up towards the first toe. Do a backward C. I'm going to stack two more toes in behind. Now from the top of the third toe, we're going to curve over all the toes and then just pull that in. Now from the top of the curve, we're going to go straight up underneath the pant, leaving a little bit of an overlap on the end there. Do the same thing on the right, going over the toes and then in. Now from the corner of the pant, we're going to step in, draw a straight line coming down on top of the foot. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Wreck-It Ralph. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.